Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm basically here today to go ahead and share um, a little bit more about myself. Um, I wanted to go ahead and, and, and share how I became an amputee and also what it looks like um, in my hip area since I'm a hemipelvectomy amputee. So that's what I'm here uh, today for. Um, so let me talk about a bit about how I became an amputee. Um, I basically um, got diagnosed around 2014. At the beginning, um, I wasn't aware, like many people, um, that I had cancer. Um, little by little, I started getting some pain on my left on my left hip, and that pain also started to form a mass in that area. Um, for a while, I had a lot of trouble trying to get some medical assistance since I didn't have insurance at the time. And um, it was basically everything I had to do was out of pocket for me. Um, once I was able to see a doctor, um, they actually went ahead and referred me to an oncologist. That oncologist basically referred me to MD Anderson in Houston. Um, but MD Anderson at the moment didn't accept me because of my insurance at that time now. Um, from there, um, I was referred to another hospital in San Antonio, which is University Health System. And there, that's where my treatment actually began. Um, um, from the beginning, the, the first, um, I'm trying to think of the word here. Um, the first biopsy I had um, determined I had bone cancer. So that's why I went to an oncologist, started treatment. Um, I started receiving chemo around early 2015. And then um, by 2016, that's when my, my surgery happened. I basically had to get my leg amputated because the cancer I had was bone cancer. Um, it's also known as osteosarcoma. And um, since the cancer itself calcified, um, the only way to get rid of it was to um, basically amp uh, remove the leg. So that's how I became an amputee. Um, the first few months were very difficult. Um, it was hard to just sit up. It was very scary for some reason. It felt like I was going to fall um, from like the highest building I can imagine. Um, it was also very painful, but um, as time went by, um, I started to heal. Um, the scar started to, to heal as well. And then little by little, I just started to get the endurance and the strength to um, keep on moving. And yeah, um, that's how um, that's how I, I got to where I am today. And um, yeah, um, that, that's basically me. I, I became an amputee because of cancer. So yeah, um, and the reason why I'm, I've been uploading videos and sharing my experiences is so that um, if there's anybody else there that 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 has a fear that there's not anything to do after losing a leg, um, that's what I'm trying to show you. Um, you can still go out there and spend time with friends. You can still go to the movies. You can still do all these things. Yeah, you may feel like a different person because you are, um, but you should embrace that. You should you should embrace that the new you. Like continue continue being the best you can at the moment, and that that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm trying to motivate others because I know that that um, is something that some of us may need out there. And I know at the beginning I needed it, and um, um, somebody that basically taught me a lot of things or a few of the things. Um, if you all are amputees, you all may know him as uh, Josh Sunquist. Um, one of the first videos I saw from him was basically um, how to move boxes and how to go upstairs, um, which is basically how I I got the clue of how to do those things. So um, I'm trying to sort of kind of follow his steps in helping all of you all as well. Um, I am trying to make a, a connection with you all too. Um, uh, something where we can discuss things and um, help each other out if anything as well. Um, so yeah, um, let me go ahead and show you all some of my x-rays here. Um, I made a little video uh, to show you all. Um, maybe I should 
uh, hide myself for a bit. It's okay. So yeah. Um, so this is me. This was my first X-ray. Um, uh, before I was actually before I was diagnosed with cancer. So yeah. Um, basically, here is where the cancer is. Here's where the mass was. I was basically connected to my femur here and my my hip socket right there. I'm not sure what that's called. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. It's just a few seconds long. And it basically shows some of my photos. So the next one is going to be an x-ray of, of me right now. Maybe not this exact second, but um, of what my hip and the inside looks now. Like, I, I have no hip now. I just have these rods that are basically uh, supporting me. Um, I they, they've, had, they've, they've asked me if, if I want those taken off, but I feel it may just be best to just keep them at this point. Um, I don't really want to go through another surgery and then have, have, it, have to recover from that as well. So yeah, um, the next one is basically going to be me after surgery. And um, this was a few days after. Um, this is one of the photos I actually shared with my family. So um, yeah, that's basically what it looks like to not have a leg on your left side. Um, as you can see right here, I, I had some some draining tubes, or I'm not really sure what they're called. I'm, I can't remember. But those are basically draining the excess blood I had from the area. Um, this right here that's basically covering me right here is actually um, part of my leg, of my, of my left leg, that was used as a flap um, to cover the back. So yeah, um, that's basically what it looks like to to not have a leg on your left side and to have half of your hip removed. Uh, right here, I'm basically getting um, the mold for my prosthesis mate. Um, and yeah, um, you can see that it's just a, a curved area. And that's basically the one of the first modes before they actually made the full prosthesis there. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. This was just a really quick short video. Uh, thank you all for watching. And if there's anything else that you all may have an interest of knowing about myself or something that you all would like for me to, to go ahead and, and discuss, um, go ahead and just drop it down in the comments. and. And I'll go ahead and try to get back to you all. Thank you all for watching.